if you look just at the Quran, you will get the indication that you can have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. No. The reason why it's haram to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old is not found in the Quran at all. If you just read the Quran, it is halal, it would, just, it would be halal to have sexual intercourse with a five-year-old. Chapter 65, verse 4. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us who you can divorce and who you cannot divorce. And then he says, وَاللَّهِ لَمْ يَحِدْنْ وَاللَّهِ لَمْ يَحِدْنْ And the ones who had never been pubescent before. Baba, there is one guy who is called Muhammad Hijab. He's on faith and um, he's an yeah. Islamic apologetist. Maybe you've heard of him before. Have you? Yeah, I, I do. I do. Yeah. Okay. Muhammad Hijab said, if you are a Quranist, a, um, a Quran alone person, that means you will be exposed. The Quran alone will make you a pedophilia, a wife beater. Is it true that if you follow the Quran alone, Quran teaches you to be a pedophile? A pedophilia? I don't know what is it. What is your answer to that statement? This, that's what he said. Yeah, uh, I think I saw that video and I even went to uh, a platform where uh, on Clubhouse, it's called Clubhouse, where somebody asked me concerning that. Mm. Now, first of all, the, the, the Mushriks or the Hadithiyuns, I would say, they are doing whatever they can to make mm -hmm. the Quran look stupid and useless in, in the eyes of the people on one way they will pretend that the quran is the best book in the world on the other mm. hand they will tell you no if you follow the quran alone you are lost you need to follow something else in order so i consider them the devils the mushriks you understand i they are they are way out of coverage area but to address that point the verse he quoted was in chapter 65 verse 4 Mm -hmm. If you can put it uh, uh, there on your screen and to analyze something. I will. Uh, the, the last time when I came to your program, I told you that when you're dealing with the Quran, you have to learn how to deal with context. And when we say context in Arabic, that is the siyak. That is siyak. Now, if you don't understand how context work, always you misquote a written work. You will not know what it's talking about or what is actually being said. So he caught, he caught the people listening to him off guard. You understand? So then he made something up by saying, oh, the, the Quran, uh, if you follow the Quran alone, you will not know. Because he was basing that intellect based on people who don't really, really understand the Quran, but claim they follow the Quran. So they don't know the answers to that. Okay. But in the Quran, you can make a verse mean whatever you want it to mean. Mm. But the, yes, but the actual fact is, is it what God actually meant? That is the question. So even so the, the Muslims, so, yes, even so the Muslims, they what like God to really meant. Yeah, I'll give you the example. That's why I said we need to use the context. So when you open the chapter, usually it has to start from verse one mm -hmm. the chapter itself is talking about divorce that is talak talak in arabic mm -hmm. means divorce right so now okay. when we say chapter it's a written work a subdivision of a written work usually titled and numbered it gives you numbers of uh, verses and then the title do you see so okay. when we say chapter the chapter is talak. It's talking about divorce. So now the divorce, it starts with verse 1. It says, oh, you, the prophet. It's talking to the prophet. When you divorce the women, the word says an nisa. And when we say an nisa, we don't include young, uh, you don't include little kids who even having attained puberty inside. We don't include mm. them. The word says the women. Every intellectual person listening to me, take your dictionary, check the meaning of the women, the word, the woman or the women. It's an adult female. Okay. So when you divorce the women, then divorce them by their what? Period. Meaning there's a number of period you have to count for the women. We call it mm. in Arabic, iddat. Iddat, yeah. This iddat is what you have to count 
But God started to I see when you divorce the women, he didn't say when you divorce the girls. It yes. is an, a stupid person who would think he's talking about kids. When I get to verse 4, you will see the verse. So then it says, by their period, encounter the period and beware of God your Lord. Do not expel them from their homes, nor shall they leave unless they have committed a proven adultery or immorality. Then he says, these are the limits of God. That is Hududullah, the limits God has set for, for a person, right? Then he says, mm -hmm. and whoever trespasses the limits of God, then he has wronged his soul. It means if you do bad, you do it for yourself against your own mm -hmm. soul. Then God says, you do not know, perhaps God will bring about a matter after the, after that, meaning a situation out after that. Mm -hmm. Then verse 2, and when they are term, this term you have to count, the Idda, the Ajala, when they are okay. term as reached after your accounting, then take them in kindness or separate from them in kindness. Because it has the time frame you have to count. The four months is for divorce. So that inside the four months, the three months, you have to check whether the lady is pregnant or not. Mm. You understand? And then after the four months, you can decide to take the woman back or go ahead with the divorce. Okay, that is that, that, that is that is your um you can do that as a man, but the woman has no right. The woman cannot decide to take you back or not to. No, no, the woman can decide. God allows reconciliation. Quran chapter 4, verse 128 to 130. You can reconcile, both of you can decide. It doesn't matter. No, oh, okay. Continue. You understand? Maybe. If the woman doesn't need you, then the divorce has to go ahead. If she wants mm. you, then you can settle and come back again. So God says, and when their term has reached, then take them in kindness or separate from them in kindness. Then he says, and let two of justice, like people of justice among you, two people among you, yes. bear witness and establish the testimony. Mm. That is for God, not for anybody. They are going to establish a testimony to bear witness that the divorce is going to happen or not for God. That is an admonishment. For whoever believes in God in the last day, and whoever reverences God, he will make a way out for him. Right? Mm. Then verse okay. 3, and will provide for him from where he does not take into consideration. Which means you are following the limits God has set for you, so God is the one to provide for you. Mm. And whoever relies on God, then he is sufficient for him. God will be sufficient for you if you rely on God. Because he has set the limit for you. Hmm. Then he says, indeed, God will accomplish his matter. God has already assigned a measure for everything. He has made a measure for everything. Meaning a calculation for everything. Whether it's a divorce, whether it's this, whether it's that. He has made the, number, the arrangement for everything. Mm -hmm. So he has already assigned a measure. Then now we go to verse 4. You see, the context is still talking about women, 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 women. No kids there. Okay. So now verse 4 says, as for those who despair of menstruation among mm. your women. Okay. You see, he mentioned women, not among women. your kids or girls. No, among your women. The Arabic word is nisa ikum. Then he says, mm. if you doubt, then their period is three months. Mm. That is the women still. Then, mm. it, it's, then now it says, also for those who have not menstruated. Mm. Because the woman, you are waiting to see whether she's pregnant or not. So you want to mm -hmm. be sure she will menstruate. If she menstruates, you know she's not pregnant. So you can go ahead with the four months and divorce her. But since okay, you so are not sure whether no, she's okay. pregnant or not. But, 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 but you see, um, I don't speak Arabic, but for my understanding, and then I and then um by checking the tafsil and the hadith, which you don't accept and don't mm -hmm. believe, okay. But mm -hmm. he is saying, according to the verse, you, uh, according to the one I, I have here right there, and mm -hmm. also you see, he said the term those who are menopause, the term is three months, and then he said, and also, and also, which is he's speaking about different people, not that same people, because it says, and also for those who have not menstruated. So he spoke, he's not speaking about the same people who are um, menopause or whatever. He's saying, and also those who have not menstruated yet. 
or something like I'm, this. I'm giving, you, I'm giving you a context. In English, you can just start a sentence by saying and also without making a, a, a sense in the subject. Okay. It's impossible for English language, you just say and also for those. Without no, but because you already read it, you already, already read um, about the menopause, those who have reached menopause, the attempts shall be three months. We have that. But did, did you see where I started? Yeah, yeah, I started yeah. from verse one. Did this he one, say yes. girls? Did he say kids? Did he say anybody else other than the women? We, yeah, no, I, I understand that. But now mm. we have to we have to analyze because he's saying and also those who have not yet menstruated yet. Yeah, so he's talking have... about women. Let me let me let me repeat the verse. Okay. Verse four. As for those who despair of menstruation among mm. your women, this is the subject. Mm. Okay, I understand that. Uh -huh. Among your women. So now he's going to give you categories of women, those who have menstruated and those who have not menstruated. So that is the subject. So as for those who despair of menstruation, al mahid among your women, if you doubt, then their period is three months, the counting time. Then who now are those women, who are those women exactly now? The first the women you are now. divorcing. The no, no, I said, and those who no longer expect menstruation among your women, who are those women? How do we know what women is he talking about? Did you understand the subject when I started reading? Yeah, yeah I yes, I I did. First but you see, all, now we want to know we, the all, women. Wait. But wait, wait the, the women who don't have menstruation right now, we will we will call them maybe menopause women, the women who are old. So no, old no, 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 no. It doesn't say menopause. There's no menopause. I know there. that menopause is what is the own words putting it there. Let me be the one. I'm I'm explaining to you what the verse is right no, no. ask me questions based on what i'm explaining not what somebody else told you mm. uh-huh that's the difference because the sectarians they are twisting the narrative because i believe god explains the quran they believe the hadith explains it for them it doesn't mm. mention menopause here there is no menopause woman here in this verse it's talking about the context of menstruation You understand so when it comes to the divorce that's why i say you have to understand the subject and the context without understanding the subject and the context you can let it mean whatever you want it to mean by putting your own words there and that is the problem seto i'm going mm -hmm. to finish this verse but i'm going to give you an example to how context and the subject is important when you're understanding a written work Okay. Seto, let's say we are talking right now. Let's say we are talking about Barcelona and Real Madrid. Then, out of the statement, I, I told you that, hey, Seto, Barcelona must win the match. They have to win the match. So, whilst I was telling you like that, then let's say Lifestone just came in without knowing what we were talking about. Then I just told you at once, Seto, uh, those people, they have to kill them. They have to kill them. They have to kill them. What do you think Lifestone will be thinking? Um, he, won't, he won't be thinking that you are speaking about Barcelona winning the match. Exactly. He will miss the point. But mm -hmm. then, if he is not smart enough to ask us what we are talking about, what will mm -hmm. he do? He will start assuming that okay. we are talking about going to kill somebody. Do you see how the subject and the context plays a major role? So we are understand understanding you. the subject and the context. You can now put your own narrative by changing things, and that will mess up everything. This is what Hadith use, the Mushriks. This is what they do oh, to the Quran. Okay, Baba. Okay, because now, now, people are calling already, okay? So I think one question has taken so much time. So what do you say to this? Um, the verse which is saying, if you doubt, the period is three months, and, yes. and also those who have not menstruated. What do you yes. mean by who are those? Who, who, what is that? Those who the are not women. menstruated. The women, the period you are counting for them is based on trying to know if they are pregnant or not. Mm. So you can be with a woman, you're about to divorce her, her menstruation might delay, it might not come. For people who are married, they know what I'm talking about. A woman's menstruation might delay. She might be expecting her menstruating this month, it might not come. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it so it's talking about period. women. It's not about girls. It's yeah, not about I know, girls. but it's talking about some women who have not yet menstruated. They are also that's why that's why their, even, period, their period is also three months. The women who have not yet menstruated, if you are divorcing them, their period, their either is three months. That is what 
I understand from the verse. Yes, it mentioned us, but both for pregnant, the one who is expecting uh, menstruation and the one who is not expecting menstruation. You just have to wait the three months and know. Because with three months, if a lady is pregnant, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that is what the people are saying. Those women who have not yet menstruated, that is why they are thinking that should be, that is only children who have, who, 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 who don't please, menstruate. Please, Seto, Seto, the verse, that, do you see a girl mentioned in the verse? No, I don't see that. But we you see, see a kid? statement. No, we see a statement of somebody who has not yet menstruated. And when we take that in consideration, we see who, who is not yet menstruated. Is it the woman or is it the girl? That is why they are saying. So I will just leave it like this.